All right, guys. Welcome to Ludi's Lane. We're about to cook some birria tacos and some mango ritas that Sonia's got. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. <laughs> now, don't freaking look at me, you jerks. Mozzarellas is later, girl. Five pounds of pork shoulder here. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in this pot of boiling water. The water is already boiling, and as long as <laughs> make sure the meat is fully covered, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab. Throw that out of the side. Half an onion, some chiles, some California chiles and garlic. And down below in the description, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the measurements of these ingredients. Two bay leaves, some taco mix, tomato chicken boyu. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Boyan. <laughs> and some menudo mix. <laughs> and chili powder. Mm, look at that, guys. And I'm going to let this boil for an hour. Okay, for our mango rita, you're going to need a mango chunks, some tahine. Uh, pinnacle vodka, some limes, and some orange juice. A cup, a cup of mangoes, a cup as well of orange juice, and a shot of pinnacle, a lime wedge. We're just gonna go ahead and squeeze that way, squeeze that all in there. Oh, wait. one spoon of tahine. It's just, don't worry, my hands are clean. I'm gonna throw this. Ice in there, close it up, put it here, and then a couple of pops. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wedge up the cup here, just like crazy. Dip. And then you get a nice little ring. Then we're gonna open this up, and voila. That's <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that. Perfect amount. I am that great. Cheers. Happy Friday. Let's taste this. <laughs> okay, did it. Then we're going to go ahead and taste it. Mm -hmm. It's been about 45 minutes. I just took off the lid. So this is how it's looking right now. Ooh, yes. Go ahead and take out these chilies. And I'm gonna also take a little bit of the broth as well into the side container here. So, so those peppers that I took out and some of the broth, I'm gonna go ahead and place it in here, which I'm only going to blend up. So you should get a nice, thick sauce, like so. Pour that back in the pot. I don't want to waste it, so what I'm going to do is put some broth in this cup to rinse it out and pour it back in here. So I'm going to get some of the broth. I'm going to rinse out the cup of the sauce that I just made. While that is cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our chili oil. About to heat up some oil because I'm about to make the chili oil sauce. I have a tablespoon of bouillon, tablespoon, two tablespoons of bouillon, one tablespoon of chili powder, um, I have one tablespoon of oregano, and one tablespoon of chili peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this mixture. This oil is kinda of hot, but I already turned it off. I'm just 
still there in the oil. Back once it cools down. Yes. Chili oil is about to be fire. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some carrots. Give it a nice flavor. Then, let that sit for another 20 minutes. Now that the meat is separating from the bone, it, let that cook for another 15 minutes. The meat is starting to fall off the bone. The meat is now nice and tender, so I'm gonna start shredding it. The meat is nice and juicy. Look at that. All right, meat is all shredded. I like can big chunks for the big girls. <laughs> Chili oil that I made earlier. Just wanna soak it, get all the juice in there. And then put, add the Monterey Jack cheese. Here, here. Then I'm gonna grab some meat. Shoot. Then fold these. All right, so this is the broth here. Some carrots. And this is the way you eat. This taco from over here. And there you go. A little bit of cilantro and onions. Come back up here. You see the taco? Now you can put me. So now you just get the taco. Dip it in the broth. Mm-hmm. 